It is the state's busiest airport and one of the nation's largest air hubs, but with that, of course, comes a little bit of a risk. Yeah, the seven investigators have uncovered an alarming trend, a rise in near collisions on the runways. Jonathan Carlson is here now with what he's learned. Jonathan. Yeah, Detroit's Metro Airport sees more than 30 million passengers a year take off and land, but as we've learned, managing all those planes can be dangerous business. On any day, Metro Airport in Romulus is buzzing. After all, it's Delta Airlines' second busiest hub. And it's getting busier. As the nation's airlines have added flights at hub airports to create efficiency, it's increased congestion. And as we found, increased the risk to passengers as well. The number of passengers is going way, way up. Uh, the number of airports is not going way, way up. The seven investigators poured over data from the FAA, which show over the last decade or so, a sharp increase in the number of near runway collisions involving commercial airplanes nationwide, Metro Airport included. These are called runway incursions, meaning another aircraft, vehicle, or person mistakenly or wrongly entered an active runway. FAA data show the near misses are happening at a rate of nearly one a day nationwide. At Metro Airport since 2001, data show there have been 101 total incidents and at least two severe incidents, meaning there was significant potential for collision. The most recent example we uncovered at Metro just this past May. A 737 jetliner was speeding down the runway for takeoff when a small regional jet crossed the runway in the 737's path. The big jet frantically climbed into the air, barely missing the other plane coming within feet of each other count those folks lucky that day, all one has to do is look back at December of 1990 to realize what can happen. That's when two Northwest Airlines planes collided in dense fog at Metro, killing eight passengers and crew. If you think safety's expensive, try an accident instead. Yeah, it often comes down to money. More air traffic controllers, more runways, more airports, guys. Are they doing anything about this? You know, lawmakers have yeah. a lot of questions for the FAA, but unfortunately, no solutions have been proposed just yet.